Hi everyone, this video is going to be four swatches of MAC's new Holiday 2017 collection. It is currently available through MAC Cosmetics in MAC stores. You can also purchase the items through Macy, Nordstrom, and even Ulta now. That'll be important because several of these items sold out instantly, even though the collection online actually launched a day before the official launch day there were still items that you just couldn't get your hands on. So you should try to go to alternate sites in order to get some of those colors if you wanted those ones that sold out. You should also know that you can get 3% back on MAC orders through Ebates. If you are not part of Ebates already, I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can sign up. It's simply a cashback website where you get a percentage of whatever you pay back in your pocket. All right, please make sure you're subscribed to the video for upcoming giveaways and videos like this. And if you haven't already, please go check out this month's What's New in Beauty video. There are a ton of products that are in that video, especially new interesting palettes that have released. I did a separate video comparing the Natasha Denona Lila palette and the Huda Beauty palettes to see which one I thought was more worth the money in addition to a ton of other videos for new drugstore lip products and the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. So go check those out if you haven't already. And let's get looking at Max Holiday 2017 collection, which is the Snowball collection. So as you can see, the packaging for this collection is beautiful. There's this sort of foiled gold um, design on the outside of all of the packaging. There are subtle differences between the coloration. Some of them are more traditional pale gold. Some of the packaging is silver and other sorts of packaging more on the rose gold type. The collection, as with every holiday collection by MAC, also includes little gift sets. So for example, there are mini lipstick kits with three mini lipsticks in them, things like that. I will not focus on that. I'm going to focus more on the color collection. And of course, the thing that is unique this year that I'm glad MAC did is to have the Snowball Mini Lipstick Kit, which includes 12 mini lipsticks in a beautiful set that you can give as a gift. That costs $69.50. You can purchase it. I think the last place I saw it available was Ulta and other sites. It hasn't been available through MAC for a while now. I opted to not show that in this video just because all of those shades are shades that you can always get through MAC. So swatching them for you wouldn't really do that much for you. But nonetheless, I think it's a great thing that MAC has released mini lipsticks in some of their most popular shades because a lot of us can't use up a full-size lipstick even if we wanted to. So without further ado, let's get looking at the specific colors and products in the main color collection. Let's start with the two face products first. These are face powders that retail for $34 each. And as you can see, each pan has an embossed snowflake on it. Here's the shade Here Comes Joy. And here is Happy Go Dazzlingly. So first with a powder brush, I'm going to swatch here comes Joy, which is a peachy gold with shimmer. And I'm going to build it up with two swatches here, or two layers, I should say, so that you can see the difference between a lighter swatch and a more built up and heavier swatch. And next to that, as a really heavy swatch, I will swatch this with my fingers. All right, so up close there is the more subtle application. Then the one built up with two layers and the swatch applied with my finger. The second one we have is Happy Go Dazzlingly, which is a gold with sparkle. Same shade with two layers applied. These are really stunning on the skin. They are metallic, but they really blend into the skin nice and smoothly and the formula is nice and creamy and soft all right so the more subtle application way in the left then in the middle applied with two layers and lastly the swatch with the finger next up let's take a look at the extra dimension eyeshadows 
These retail for $20 each. There are five shades, all of which I will be able to show you in this video. And again, you can see that the pans are embossed with a snowflake. First up is Frost Winked. Delicate Drift. Stylishly Merry. It's Snowing. And Starry Starry Nights. All right, so Frost Winked is a white with silver pearl, and it has almost like a green flash to it. Second is Delicate Drift, which is a light pink with sparkle, although this is a duochrome shade. It flashes peach and pink and kind of peachy gold, I guess. Stylishly Merry. Mac just says this is a gold shimmer. This is a beautiful gold with a duo chrome of pink. It's Snowing, which is a pinky purple shimmer. And Starry Starry Nights, which is a black with silver sparkle. All right, there are your five extra dimension eyeshadow shades up close. All of these are interesting and multi-dimensional. The most beautiful one is the third shade here, definitely the standout color. But I was also surprised by the fourth shade here, much more interesting on the skin once applied than what you see in the pan. Least interesting probably is Starry Starry Nights, just because, you know, it's black and silver. There's lots of those out there. But all of these apply pretty smoothly, even though they feel to the touch and to the brush to be pretty dry and stiff in the pan. I'd really like to see how these colors change over different bases. So we're going to swatch the same shades over a white and a black based base. So we'll start with Frost Winked. Delicate Drift. Picked up a little more product on the brush this time because it was the least pigmented the first time around swatching. Stylishly Merry. It's Snowing. And Starry Starry Nights. All right, just a little bit of a variety there for you to see if you like the way these look with a different base applied before the shadow. Next, let's look at the two eyeshadow compacts. These are the Snowball Eye Compacts that retail for $29.50 each. So this top palette here is the rose gold palette, and then the bottom palette is the gold palette. As you can see, this as you can see, the compacts contain six mini little eyeshadows and a duo ended brush. I really like the visual impact of these palettes as opposed to the palettes that MAC traditionally releases. So here are the shades uh, left to right in the rose gold palette that I will be swatching for you and I'll give you the names as I am going along and swatching them. And the same design for the gold palette also. For this one, these are the shades that I will swatch for you. And here are the brushes. You can see that one of them has silver accenting, the other one has gold accenting. The, um, I guess, brushes that they're supposed to be minis of are the 547 and the 546. The bristles definitely are not of the same quality as the full-sized brushes, especially on this left side. It's this flat, um, almost a lip brush kind of thing. I'm not quite sure how you would use it very well for the eye area. 
Um, and then on this side also, they're pretty flat and pinched, although they are a little more fluffy. So the first shade is Winterlude, which is a high frost peachy white. This has a satin finish a muted pinkish nude with a matte finish. She Sparkles is a light gray with silver sparkles, but this also has like a taupey tone to it. This is a dazzle shadow. Next is Shiver of Delight, which is a rose gold copper sparkle. This is also a dazzle shadow. Budding Passion. Max says this is a copper. I would say this is a traditional milk brown. And this is a luster finish. And Drama in the Snow is a deep... Again, Max says warm brown. This looks very neutral to me. And this has a satin finish. All right, so there are the six shades that you get with the rose gold eyeshadow palette. Frosted Frizz is Frosted Fizz is a peachy nude with gold frost and it has a satin finish. Dazzle the Night Away is a white with white gold sparkling reflex. This is a dazzle shadow. Fun from Gold is a yellow gold with heavy gold reflex. This is also a dazzle shadow. Evening Light is a mid-tone brown with a gold pearl. This has a velux pearl finish. Well Past Midnight is a black with high silver and gold pearl, Max says. I don't know if I see any gold at this point. This has a luster finish. And Cinder, which is a dark charcoal with a matte finish. Okay, up close, these are the six eyeshadows from the gold palette. And remember, as always, I do swatch these over an eyeshadow primer. All right, and finally we have the Snowball Lipsticks. Now there are a total of six shades, but the two red shades sold out like that on the website. So you will have to turn somewhere else, most likely other than Mac's store in order to get those two shades, which were El Bell and Rouge and Snow. But the rest of the four shades I will swatch for you and show you how they apply and these retail for $17.50. This shade here is Warm Ice, Holiday Crush, I'm Glistening, and Shimmer and Spice. All right, Warm Ice is a dull light pink with silver sparkle apparently. I see no pink in this shade. It's mostly very pale champagne gold. Holiday Crush is a muted pink with sparkle. I'm glistening, which is Max has a light pink with purple sparkle. This comes off as a Frosty brown, maybe with a hint of purple to it. And Shimmer and Spice is a dusty rose with shimmer. This is mostly just sparkle. It's brownie red gold sparkle. Okay, here are the four shades up close. And these are all frost finish shades. I wish that Shimmer and Spice had a red base to it. I think that would have been much more interesting with that gold and brown sparkle, but it's mostly glitter. All right, so there you have Max Snowball Collection for holiday 2017. I love the beautiful packaging, A plus on that. I think the extra dimension eyeshadows are also top notch. 
A for those too. The highlighting face powders are beautiful also. I would also give those an A on first impression. The eyeshadow palettes are not usually my cup of tea. I'm not overly impressed with them, but they are not bad. So I'd probably give those a B, B plus. And surprisingly, the lipsticks I found the least impressive this time around, although uh, the photos that I've seen of the two red shades that I did not swatch for you seem stunning. So that would have most likely changed my opinion overall of the lipsticks. But when it comes to the four frost shades, eh, wasn't my cup of tea. So please tell me in the comment section below your impression of this collection, how much you like it compared to past collections by MAC. What is your favorite part of the collection? Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. I hope that it was helpful if you were interested in seeing what it is you would want to buy out of the collection. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.